Ugh. Well, Leroy, another night of car duty's over. That's right, Emmett. Easiest money I've ever made. Huh. These modern art are getting stranger and stranger. What's a smiley face doing on that portrait over there? As if anyone would bother to drop a museum with dedicated security guard like us. You know, I don't know about such who have enough listeners on their own yard. We would never let anything happen to these valuable prices. Ah! What happened? Use your face. All of them. Fancy, fancy ruin. Expensive jewelry, fantastic necklaces. Someone broke in and stolen everything. Oh. Oops. As soon as this new body finds out, she knows that someone stole thousands of dollars worth of artifacts from her museum while we were sleeping on the job. And we'll get fired, right? Right. I know. We call a detective. Someone to investigate the crime. Great. I don't know any detectives. That's what the phone book is for. Hurry, baby, no one will notice. Oh my goodness! What happened to my beautiful museum? Everything's ruined. It's a complete mess. <coughs> Somebody say there's a mess. There's never a mess. Too big for me to clean up. <laughs> All the artifacts I spent years collecting gone. And Peabody, this is Peabody. I just came from the history week. All the diagrams are mixed up. They're crusaders from World War II fires. Pocahontas is fighting the Nazis at the Great Wall of China. And Maya is sacrificing Abraham Lincoln. It's just awful. Huh. That explains the city party sculpture in the front entrance. And the frame complicates in the Renaissance. Room. I guess it's because it's a sense of humor. I don't find this funny. You're going to have to find this poor guy because I will not bring a place that's just gotten robbed. It's not safe. What if the criminals return? No one's in. Everything's going to be fine. That's right. Help is on the way. And here I am, right on time as ever. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> now, how may I help you, good people? So my name is Winifred Peabody. I own this museum, and I'm someone to find the people who stole my artifact. Elementary, my dear Mrs. Peabody. Now, I'll have to ask everyone to leave the room. I'm supposed to come off the museum before it opens. Ever so sorry, but there are clues to be found, you know. I'm 
called a geek to solve the mystery. What scientist do you serve? Chemical chronology will be I study the science of the Sure, sure. Just don't cross any of my police lines. <coughs> How many detectives did those security guards call? I don't believe this, but a bunch of detectives have been destroyed the clue. And I smell it. Oh. 
<laughs> Don't even think about it. Think about what? I'm just uh, looking for clues. <clears throat> Were you trying to read my notes? Of course not. I was just... <clears throat> testing how well this is vision. That's all. If that's all, then go ahead and keep investigating. I believe I will. Ladies first, though. Oh no, you go ahead. I'm sorry, but I must insist. And I'm sorry, but I must refuse. My, my, a little suspicious, aren't we? A little. This is terrible. Everyone running around, creating chaos. All the displays in this room. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> What's going on here? I didn't do it. I promise. I'm innocent. It's not even innocent. Get a hold of yourself. No one is accusing you of anything. Oh, I'm sorry. I have very trouble. She's like a balloon in a room full of nails. Any minute, and pop, she can burst. How do the nurse detectors come to any conclusion yet? <coughs> and then, you work? Bring the detectors, please. I don't think you think you can handle it. Yes, ma'am, Mr. Gordon. Right away. Immediately. Sure thing. Our father. Then don't do it! Right, that's what we're doing. Wait a minute. What's the matter now? Conspiracy. We could all be in on it. What are you talking about? I own these collections. Why would I destroy them? Wait, you mean the thief? Could be one of us? <laughs> now look what you did. Don't talk to me, lady. I'll speak in front Well, after some thorough investigation, I found several clues. First, 
I realized that most of the spray paint had dropped down on the wall was slanted from the left. Second, I realized that there was grime on both the windowsill and on the vandalized paintings. Finally, I found this a purple hand on fiber. And how did that feel? Patience, my brother! Is the conclusion obvious? The vandalism was committed by a left handed chimney sweep with a purple mustache! <laughs> well, that's very interesting, but none of us fit that description. Oh, so perhaps I'll have to readjust my conclusion. May I have some scientific research to investigation? During my search, I noticed something strange. Taken with evidence and research given by the other detectives, I think we may have our criminal right here in this room. I found trace amounts of chemicals on the fake artifacts. Chemicals found only in cleaning supplies. Jennifer, yeah. I should have known. You were my hot hot brand this. That's right, detectives. And I'm out of here. Besides, he made me drop my sandwich. It was on good whole wheat bread, too. <laughs> hey, why do you guys want to in here anyway? I don't believe it. They caught the criminal. Where did you hide the stolen artifacts? I'll never tell him. You'll never find them. Nothing but a bunch of wanted me. Got luck. And that they were please escort this man down to the police station. Well, I don't know about escorting, but we can take him there. That would be fine. Thank you. <laughs> Does that mean we gotta keep our jobs? As long as there won't be any more sleeping on <coughs> You got it. <coughs>
Then it's settled. All of my lab assistant get into contact.